Burnout is a real problem. And I know I'm not the only person to have experienced it. And I expect there are other people in this room who will have had a similar tale. Maybe you've teetered close to the edge. Maybe you've known someone else who has experienced it. But the problem with burnout, it's a growing problem. And it's damaging us, our health, our well-being, and our performance. It's costing us, globally, $322 billion a year, which is ridiculous, right? I mean, it's a combination of the profits of Apple, Alphabet, and the 10 top performing companies in the States. We could be doing so much better. We cannot afford to allow this to happen. And of course, the consequence is that it's not just burnout which is affecting us and the workplace. It's the high levels of stress and anxiety and depression. So I want to share with you three concepts that will enable you to fully thrive in today's modern workplace. And the first of these is self-care. And I don't need to share with you the importance of lifestyle. It's just that we've put a higher value ticket tag on work and everything else. And self-care gets relegated to the bottom of the dirty clothes basket to be done and dealt with when we get round to it, maybe possibly never. But beyond looking after our self-care, it's about how well we focus. In order to be able to focus on what matters, it's about taking that time out to adopt some thinking time. It helps us to adopt what's called a thriver's mindset as well. So we've got Molly, who works in the renal unit at one of the Perth hospitals, right? She's under a lot of pressure, she sees a lot of patients, stress levels up here, and she feels like she's drowning. She's thinking that maybe she'll get out of the profession because she really doesn't like it. And then over the other side of town, we've got Jane. She's working in the renal unit in a different hospital. Same sort of patients, same sort of work, same sort of pressures, and yet she's thriving. Why? Because mindset is a choice. And by choosing to adopt a thriver's mindset, she was able to manage her stress more effectively, keep herself emotionally in a more even keel. Plus, she had the support of others around her. And that is the critical piece. Which leads me to the third component of what it takes to truly thrive, and that's to care for each other. When you feel cared for and you're caring for everyone else, magic happens. As Brené Brown reminds us, human connection is what it's all about. We are hardwired to connect with each other. Our ability to form human relationships is as important to our survival as the air, food, and water that we seek. And it's what provides us purpose and meaning in our lives. It also provides us safety at work. I mean, there's a lot of talk about the need for more psychological safety, and oh my goodness, it's so important. Because when you feel part of a tribe that you belong, you feel safe and secure, and you know you can speak up, share an opinion, ask a question without fear of humiliation or judgment. So in summary, to thrive, it's all about remembering. We need some self-care first to provide us the energy and vitality we require to power us through our day. It's about knowing how to focus on what really matters, and it's always working to create a stronger culture founded on care. Thank you very much. Thank you.